Good day. Welcome to Monday, October 19th, 2020. Uh, we're over half done with October. I did see some snow flurries this morning, and it looks like Huron's slated for one to two inches. Oh, and you're just not wanting that. How are you doing? Um, today I've got on my mind habits and, and how we have a habit of doing whatever. And, of course, with COVID-19, habits have just changed things big time for us, haven't they? And that's part of the problem, I think, of it. But one of the habits, of course, that we've been stressing is the mask wearing, the social distancing, and, you know, just really being careful and caring for one another. Um, you may have caught the news thing from the Associated Press about Dr. Tom Dean in Wessington Springs. I've been bringing him up every once in a while to, to talk about how he encourages masking, but now the hospital there is just flooded with people who are sick with COVID-19, and we just we pray for that community along with all the other uh, communities along with our own because that just is so, it's just, they know that masking helps. If you're wearing a mask and I'm wearing a mask and one of us has COVID, that can pre protect that person who doesn't have it. And we want to do that. We don't want to spread something so bad. But I encourage you, I thank all of you who are attending worship and, and we have our ladies Bible study. Everybody's wearing a mask. And I really thank you all for following through in those positive ways. It's a hard habit to remember, though, isn't it? I know I get out of my car. I think of it before I get to my destination. Then I get out of the car without it on. And I have to go back. Or I, I, if I forget, I put my coat up or whatever, and hoping that that kind of prevents if I've got something up. Keeps me safe, too. But it's it's all a part of it. Um Frederick Buechner is somebody that I, I quote every once in a while. He has written a devotional entitled Listening to Your Life. And I thought this is this is talking about virtue. And I thought maybe it, it's a little bit kind of like what we're dealing with now. He he writes this, and I, I just want to share it with you this morning. Next to the seven deadly sins. The seven cardinal virtues are apt to look pale and unenterprising, but appearances are notoriously trustworthy, untrustworthy. Prudence and temperance, taken separately, may not be apt to get you to your feet cheering, but when they go together, as they almost always do, that's a different matter. The chain smoker or the junkie, for instance, who exemplifies both by managing to kick the habit, can very well have you throwing your hat up in the air, especially when it happens to be somebody whom, for personal reasons, you'd like to have around a few more years. And the courage involved isn't likely to leave you cold either. Often it's the habit kicker's variety that seems the most courageous. If you think of justice as sitting blindfolded with a scale in her hand, you may have to stifle a yawn. But if you think of a black judge acquitting a white racist of a false murder charge, it can give you goose flesh. The faith of a child taking your hand in the night as it's moving, as moving as the faith of a Mother Teresa at among the untouchables, or Bernadette facing the skeptics at Lourdes, or Abraham, age 75, packing up his bags for the promised land. And hope is the glimmer on the horizon that keeps faith plugging along, of course, the wings that keep it more or less in the air. Maybe it's only love that turns things around and makes the seven deadly sins be the ones to look pale and unenterprising for a change. Seven deadly sins, you ask? I got asked that by a, by a confirmation student once, and it's 
They are greed, gluttony, lust, envy, pride. There is so much more than sad efforts to fill the empty place where love belongs. And anger and sloth, just two things that may happen when you find that not even all seven of them at their deadliest ever can. Yeah, that's the seven deadly sins may make life seem more exciting and we jump all the time with them. But then what happens when love takes over? It means indeed we care for one another. And the habits that we build up I, I've heard at one time, if we do something or say something 52 times, it becomes a habit. So <laughs> count them. And it seems like 52 times I've worn a mask more than that, right? But I'd like to pray with you. Her brokerings, a pray, yeah, the prayer of her brokering, that's entitled, Look at My Habits. Let us pray. Lord, I have habits. They are sure ways which I know myself. I do them over and over as though my life depends on them. Some habits are against my life. Some habits keep me alive, and some habits will destroy me. Lord, I need to deal with the habits which are deep inside me. My habits are myself, and so I know you care about them. Look at my habits, Jesus. Lord God, our habits, help us. We know the ones that we need to develop that are so helpful. We also need to know the ones, give us the wisdom to know the ones that are important to let go. Please continue to walk with us. Help us with calm hearts and minds to do the upright appropriate things. When we get anxious, help us to figure out where that anxiety is coming from and ask others to help us along the way along with turning to you to help us to to calm down and to realize the way you are leading us lord we pray that you be with all the members of our saviors we pray that you be with all of our children all who are ill we pray that you be with our school system and all the teachers and paraprofessionals, administrators there, help lead and guide us all to realize the uplifting, positive ways we can work together to do your justice, love your kindness, and to walk humbly with you. Lord God, all these things and anything else you see that we need, we pray that you will grant us through the prayer your Son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may God's blessings, peace, hope, and love surround you this day as you deal with the things that you face. Bye for now.